Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. I've got an absolute mountain of stuff to show you today. These have been coming in so thick and fast. The show and tell box, the gold one, the kind of battered one, uh, is looking really worse for wear. It just bursts at the seams every time. Let's get into it. Um, how they accumulate is an interesting story. You might want to hear it. Uh, it's either conventions, auctions, friends send me stuff. Um, I see stuff online. I absolutely need it the second I see it for the first time. Didn't know that existed. Now must have it kind of thing. Um, and they just mount up faster and faster. Too fast for me to handle. The best stuff goes into the show and tell box. Most of it just goes into the collection quietly, but check these out. Flame Out is the first one to show you today. A dollar nine. I wish I paid that for it. I didn't. Uh, this is the charger. They just call it the Flame Out. Cosmic Blue, whatever. It's finally getting off the card. There are a couple of failed attempts to get this um, over the years, but here it is, finally in the collection. Don't worry too much about things like that when you see them. It's not like collecting the new stuff where there's very rarely any issue. Uh, it's the opposite with things this old. Not because they're old, just the manufacturing process back in the, what, early 80s, whatever. Mid-80s, late 80s, it was all the same. Even early 90s, paint issues galore. Not so on this one. This is the 2008 Holden VE Ute SSV. Mm, it's very new. Um, six of six, but I was kind of only interested in this one. <laughs> Great to have it. Yeah, I say there are no paint issues. I'll wiggle that in the light, see if you can see. But nothing major. That's part of the uh, communication receiver for the radio and bits and bobs, sat nav. Great. Yes, finally. Got the ute in the red. Um, another finally moment was this one, the Lesney um, edition of the 68 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Kind of rare. Certainly um, hard to come by in terms of availability, and when you do find it, the price is jacked up. Again, an issue, but you've got to overlook that on this era of Matchbox or anything in 164. Metal base on the Lesney editions, arguably how it should be all round. Strange steering wheel on this one, if you can see. Nice heavy chunk of a thing. Love the box too. Um, something cheaper. It's the MR2, 1984 Toyota MR2, and the variant Scalore. There were four variants of this. This is the US Retro series card. Um, and I got this one too. Headlights up, headlights down, and um, are they both just trying to get the light to catch that part of the dashboard? They're both right hand drives. Cool. Here are the cheapos. Um, back to crazy expensive. It's the Japanese issue. Ooh, gotta be careful with these boxes, don't you? Thinking about reaching up for my butter knife, but we'll manage without it. Look at that baby. Now, you might be thinking, why is it so special? It's just the sticker on the bonnet. It's got a green base, most of them did. Um, Maserati Bora number 32. Shall I bother? Mm gingerly open and close these doors just the once for the sake of 
the camera, the magic, and of course the box is kind of the star of the show. Nine dollars again. I wish. <laughs> right. Um, we've got to pick up the pace. We'll get this one done. This one came in from the UK. I was tired of trying to find a mint version of this BMW locally. Could not find it. There's plenty of them there, but they're all a bit naked. 1981 on the base, and great looking box as well. I told you I'd go cheaper, I didn't. It's like Christmas here, every, pretty much every day. Um, I have a bunch of these, but not like this. The variants, um, this is late 80s, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. There you go, 87. I'll just call it late 80s. Um, I need this for a catalogue review. Mine had ambulance written on the side. This one does not. It's the VW transporter, I think. Yeah, transporter, but in ambulance form. Another ambulance. I have this one, but a really rough version. I should have bought that actually. Um, but I only bought this one because of the condition. That hopefully is just cardboard dust, seems to be. The Citroen Embo. Tailgate is very slightly UV um, tinged. Wild suspension on that, I love it. Another one of the same era, roughly, is the uh, Datsun 280ZX. That was number 24 or whatever. Uh, don't worry about the copyright on ones of this um, era. Pretty much all of them say 1981. I just didn't bother updating the box for a number of years back then. I won't bother with the doors on this one. Or should I? Do they? Oh, yeah. It's a right hand drive. Oh, that went well. Great. Um, something newish. Well, newish compared to the others. The Ford F100 panel delivery. Um, Lister is trying to give up already on this one, so I'll just get it. Yeah. Nice. Nice cream truck. Don't know how you would serve ice cream. Maybe it's not. Uh, ding, da -dong, da -ding, da -dong. Maybe they just take it to the shops. Um, different interior colour on this one. I thought I had it. I didn't. Now I do. 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. Again from the retro series out of the States. Cheap and cheap. Tri spoke wheels. Great. We're going to severely run out of room. Um, how do I get some of my stuff, you ask? And this guy, twice diecast, David Johns over there in Alabama, supplied me with this one. It's the Pontiac Sol Solstice concept. Try saying that with a sandwich in your face. Uh, what year? 2007 release. I will pick that sticker up later. <laughs> Very muted blue grey or grey blue. Fantastic. Great. Again, never knew it existed. And there it is. Bunch of Lucy's. The 57 T-Bird convertible. I'll do a show of this specific casting. Well, not this specific casting. This specific car sooner or later because there are so many of them. I have who knows how many. 40? But there are so many more to go, including this one. Uh, might have another one somewhere along the, the road today. They just went nuts on the variations. It's great. Just before a, a minor tidy up of the desk, I'll show you a few more Lucy's. I bought um, an entire collection months ago now, and I picked out my favourite bits to go into this show and tell. It's the Cuda. Chrome bases everywhere. And this one. 
They weren't in these bags when I got them, they were in tissue, and tissue makes dust. So I put them in the bags for the show. Double decker. And then there's another one here, his. What's your adventure? Adventures don't just happen. Ain't that the truth of it? Sometimes you, you read one of these little throwaway lines and you think, that's true. You've got to get off your butt. Do something. Uh, the original collectibles. Uh, what are we? It's the utility truck. Matchbox 33. Again, I needed this for a video. Um, great to finally get it. That bugged me. Um, I, I tried to get hold of it a few times and you know deals fall through all the time don't they? But it's great to have that finally. Um, another variant, it's the VW Golf GTI. So many times in this collection or in this hobby you think I never knew that existed. And now some dude's trying to sell it to me. I think I'll buy it. Um, opening part. Very non-spectacular engine under there. Quantum quality parts. Metal on metal. Big slab of a thing. Great. Um, another Lesney edition. It's the 57 Lincoln Premier in uh, Peach. Maybe. <laughs> mm, don't really have room for the boxes, but that's okay. Again, metal on metal because it's Lesney Editions. You'd be sitting funny behind that steering wheel. Magic. Great to have this. I have the plastic chassis ones. And they just don't feel right. It's a big heavy car and with this metal chassis it feels like a big heavy car. It's great. Um, we'll do a few more and then I'll do a tidy up. Uh, the regular one of this is the white with the blue stripes. Now we have blue with white stripes. Now we say um, and it's only according to my collection you might have had both of them forever. Maybe you had this one and they're looking for the other one. It's the little Ford Escort with the bug eyes. Hmm, RS200, I call that. It's heavy, but it does have a plastic base. I love it. Uh, one more and then I'll do a clean up, he says. Peterbilt Tanker, this one for the. Um, a Mako. I'm saying that right. Be careful of those exhaust stacks. They like to snap off, by the way. They do become brittle over time. If left in a sunny position. Great. Great to have that. Alright, I'll pop him there. I'm going to stop the camera. We'll go to a short break and I'll tidy this joint up. See, that's better. A uh, couple of updates. I dug down the, to the bottom of the show and tell box. That's another Lincoln Premier that came in recently. And same thing, but different base. Different everything actually. Different color, more detail. That's the Lesney edition with metal base as opposed to the stock standard with plastic base. Worlds apart, really are. Um, another Lucy. For a long time I thought I had this one. Did not. Now I do. It's the orange Beamer. Not an old casting. It's the 69 Beamer 2002 but it's 2018 copyright so it hasn't been around for that long. I hope we'll see it again this year. Um, the interior, I th says before I should have brought the other one out, I did. You see? Minor. 
but a variant. One on the right has white interior. Magic! So yeah, always got to keep an eye out on what's in front of you as opposed to what's in your collection. Quite often they're two different things. And oh, another one for a upcoming catalog review. It's the Zoo Truck with a deep red body and a grey cage. The variants will drive you mad if you let them. You'll feel like a lion in a cage. Deep blue tint on the windows. You've got the five arch wheels back and front. Plastic base, but there's plenty of metal in this one. I don't know who goes through that door. Maybe it is the lines. It'd have to be, wouldn't it? Wouldn't want to be the guy opening the door. But good to have that. Um, probably the oldest one to show you today is this one. Um, no dog or rifleman, but pretty mint car. Look at that. And the text was ran the other way back then. It's the Studebaker Lark Wagoneer 42 of that year. Now this slides back hopefully. Yep. Sometimes smoother than others. But yeah, should be with a little plastic dog and a guy with a gun. We're off hunting. And the box is pretty spicco too. Usually worth more than the car, but I put them away, never to be seen again, pretty much. Um, more cheap version of the same setup, an openable box, which I think we all appreciate. It's the Jeep Cherokee. These are US issue, made in Macau, and a variant on the standard County Park R27 Forest Ranger. Hmm. And suspension. We'll keep that on the desk and off the rug. Um, some curious ones. Everything's curious here. <laughs> North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Huh. I wonder how many of these things there are out there of all the different railways, especially from the UK. You know, um, 1988. So after. They left the UK, but they were still issuing these. It's great. Made in Macau by an American company concerning a British railway. And there's the map. Nice. Should not throw that at the rug. Speaking of variants, uh, actually most of this haul is for variants. I've got all of these cars, just not in these colours. Um, the Range Rover, which is interesting in itself because normally they just call it the Police Patrol. And I've got to keep an eye on the camera because this is going to be an epic video. Um, and I don't want the camera to give up halfway through. So. Different sticker or label. Collectors don't like calling that a sticker, because it is just a sticker. roller um, is it normally that wheel? Yeah. And the most common one is a orange light beacon insert thing. Here we have the blue one. Black painted base. And minty mint, apart from the usual manufacturer's faults, casting lines and not a hundred percent paint job. You know, all the good stuff. All the stuff we're used to is matchbox car collectors, especially of that era. And I snap back to the more modern stuff. Cherokee. See the paint job? Worlds apart. But I still prefer the old stuff. Great. Um, another modern one, uh, 1970 Chevy Al Camino, the Widow. Or Widow, if you're speaking in English. 
Hmm. I've got a matte black one. And that's going to look great next to it. Brilliant. Fantastic. Uh, another variant of the Lucy I got in a full collection. Not a full collection. Somebody's entire collection. I don't think anybody's collection is full, is it? Can't be. What would be the point? You can't do something else. The whole point of this is because you haven't <laughs> you haven't got all the ones you want. So you just keep on going. Um, Mercedes-Benz S500. Super fast. About 20 years old. Conservative car, not so conserv conservative wheels. These are probably the least popular wheels apart from the Tyco ones, possibly, um, that Matchbox or Mattel ever created. I got some hate when I did that review. <laughs> um, uh, 1963 Cadillac Ambulance. A few ambulances today. 2010 release. Jean Mercy Hospital. I guarantee you that's a real hospital. Never been there. Never heard of it until I read that. But guarantee it. It exists. Perfect. Um, Street Machines Collection 1956 Ford Pickup. I can't remember what colour this is. I guess we'll find out. Oh yes, see what I mean about the tissue? That's why I've transferred a lot of these to the clear plastic bags. Should keep the box. Look in there. Nice teal. Ah, see the wind through that window, the uh, steering wheel detail. Hopefully the camera sees that. Big rubber tyres on these. Complicated base. Plenty of detail. Slide him in there. Um, change of pace. Who? 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 So much to Mazda RX-7. Look at that. Um, again, this will be 81 here. Yeah, see? That could be 81, 82, 83, 84. Maybe even 85. Ew. I don't think that was on purpose. What do they call that? Orange peeling? Don't know. Got to be very careful closing these doors. If you get that wrong, they never close properly again. Clear windows for a change on this RX-7. Bit of suspension. Classic little thing, isn't it? Um, the last, I think, Lesney edition to show you. Might be another one hiding under the masses. 1968 Ford Mustang 428 Cobra Jet in white. I've almost got all of the Lesney editions. He says with utmost confidence not. Mounting up on the boxes, I'll have to do a pan around so you see the entire mess in all its glory. Oh, that's a beauty. There is something about that metal base. Tri-spoke wheels. Nothing special about the wheels, but geez, they suit this thing. Absolute magic. What a beauty. Ah, um, another Age of Steam one. Mm, can you see that? Hutchinson. That is a, oh, I was expecting there to be a map on the back, like the first one. 87, copyright. Again, this is when the Americans took over. Mattel or Universal or wouldn't have been Tyco back then. Maybe Universal. Who knows? I'll have to check. I'm sketchy on dates. Blue. Red. Comes in green and probably a few more colour. Uh, there might be another one to show you too. Yeah, there is. Let's skip to that one. West Somerset. It's probably a really dodgy imitation of a 
West Somerset accent. <laughs> Britain's longest preserved steam railway. Minehead Bishops. Seven bucks fifty. I would have bought two of them if it was still seven bucks fifty. West Somerset Railway. Here we come. Green. Yeah, I'd, the mind boggles as to how many of those things there are. We'll put them in a little group of troublemakers at the back. We will do a pan around. You'll see them. A copper. It's the Popo BMW R1200RT-P. Police motorcycle. Yeah. These ones stand up by themselves. It's unnatural. That's all right. I don't stand them up in the in the drawer they live in. I lie them down as if somebody's been malicious and knocked them all over. You know, like in the movies. <laughs> we'll stand them up there though. Uh, this is a better version to the one I had. Mm, modified racer, that's right. Yeah, mine one's a bit tarnished. The chrome's gone. I bought it second hand. Well, technically, most of what I buy is second hand, unless it's new release. Not technically, literally, it's second hand. I don't go back in time and walk into a random toy shop. Yeah, that's good. Number 12. Modified racer. You look at that. Look at the door. It's the US, well, they're calling it a US police car. It's the Grand Fury. Poor oh, property. Wow. That had never been out of the box. Oh, that's great. They almost always get the center wrong. Of, of these old tampos. Just plonk it on, get in the box. Yeah, it's the Plymouth Grand Fury. Made in Macau. Yeah, curious. Get rid of the cardboard dust off the wheel and off we go. Back to the future. Mercedes Benz A Class. Should I mention the moose test? This failed. <laughs> this failed so badly at the moose test. You know, you go squiggly around all the cones. It rolled, and the sails went through the floor, and they stopped making it. Sadly, plenty of detail. Gee whiz! I'm so glad to have the, everything here. I'm so glad to get them all in the collection finally. Mustang 1970 Boss 302. What colour? Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Um, that's a stock standard box. They used it quite a few times, and the colour of the car could have been anything. But today it was this one. Bit of uh, a throwback wheel. I like it better than that. Yeah, it's nice. Keep the box. You, you. Uh, reluctant purchase, the car transporter. I've got it, I've got a couple of them, but the difference here was the cars. And the cars are a bit bad. Yeah, see, first thing I did when I got this for Christmas in who knows when, 80, 81, not this Christmas, I've grown up, um, I took a screwdriver to these, I wanted them off, and then it was wrecked. And I hid it because I didn't want mum to see what I'd done to my brand new truck. <laughs> it worked because she never saw it and she bought me more. <laughs> um, different colour body and there's a red one on the original. Cool. Again, a reluctant thing, but you know, you, you gotta have them. All right, housekeeping's been in. We're all jacked up on a battery pack. And uh, we've cleared the table a bit. Let's get on with the home stretch. Starting with this one, the Lamborghini Countach, or Countach, number 11 of, don't ask me when, 81, I think it's about 83 actually, maybe a bit later. 
Uh, in terms of variance, this kind of isn't. It's um, pretty much stock standard. White interior, no tint on the windows, contage on the side, and the raging ball everywhere. You've got the headlights tempoed. Beauty. A little bit of suspension, but it's a Lambo, so it's not really supposed to wobble on its springs. Porsche 959 in grey. I had this one, but really knocked around. I always um, call them seat warmers. Like, um, placeholders, but here we have a minty mint version. Made Macau plastic base, kind of looks like the um, engine cover lives something, but it doesn't. There are always some random opening parts of this era, but this isn't one of them. One of the niggling ones, niggle niggle, Mr. Niggle, Dakota, Dodge Dakota, to you and I. Um, it eluded me for so long and I absolutely need it for a catalogue review. I'll leave the year a slight surprise, you could probably work it out. This is the original of the casting. Also came out in the junkyard livery in the five pack. I got that first. I got that ages ago, but I've been looking for this one, and it came and went for sale, and I didn't manage to be the buyer until now. Finally, seems pretty mundane, doesn't it? But when it eludes you, by crikey, by smokes! This one, um, you might think this is nothing special. Vauxhall Astra GTE or Holden Astra to it in Australia. The only difference with this one is the 7. Check out yours, see if it has that big black 7 on the door. Or is it just a blank space where the 7 might be? Or might have gone? Seems a bit rough, but um, I've said it again, I'll say it even more. Um, these sorts of issues are just quality control. Get them out fast, sell them off cheap kind of thing. Um, number 52 of probably 2004, at a guess. It's the Ford Mustang 428. Is it black? Oh, it is too. They're proving me wrong because. Earlier I said the box art doesn't necessarily represent what's in it, but both times I've been wrong. Um, where's his buddy? Come here, you. Let's see. Go together very well, don't they? Holy smoke. Great. So many things being added to the collection today that I've wanted forever, and they're just turning up popping in my lap. Like this one, Mercedes Tora in a busted up box, filthy box, let's see if the car survived. You never can tell through these manky windows. <laughs> oh, and the stuff that, that this has dumped on my desk. Oh, that looks alright though. The um, Interiors had a knock. Seems to be. Ah, uh, there we go. Hey, fixed. Kind of. It was just jammed under. But that looks alright. I never knew it came out in this colour. Unpainted base. Maroon, burgundy. Ron Burgundy. Even the dash is a bit screwy. Look at that. They just jammed that sucker in. Well, I do a, a Tyrone fix it. There you go. Man. I have a knack for this after all. I've purposely not done a custom myself. Oh, I do have an awesome custom to show you towards the end of this video. Came in from America. 
good friend of mine. But we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, the reason I don't attempt customs is because I'm a bit of a thug. And my, my joints don't work like they used to. Should send the handwriting. Here's another Mustang to get our mind off arthritis. <laughs> Look at the interior. Ooh. Mm, not sure about that interior. Mm. I was, I was being really upbeat there. Look at that interior. And then I looked at it and it's like, ee. It's like wood panelling where the leather should be. That's a weird choice of colour. Great looking colour though on the body. Yeah. Oh, from a distance, the interior looks alright. We'll keep it there. We'll put it next to the other convertible. That was the Mustang Cobra. Did I tell you? Maybe not. I'm getting all giddy because I'm getting so many new things today like this. Refuse Disposal. And they called it Refuse Truck. From the late 80s. This is another one where there's a gazillion variants. And you think you have it. You see it online or in, in a convention or wherever you buy your matchbox, your old matchbox. You think, yeah, I got that one. And then you think, but do I? Of them. Good. Um, something a little more sophisticated, the BMW Z8 from about 20 years ago. Oh, look at the interior. Now I can say look at the interior and be very happy with what we find. Spastic wheels, but mm, can't have it all. 2001 copyright. That's coming up to a quarter of a century. Come on, come on, man. You know, the thing. Page. Um, stay with those types of boxes. Um, 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And it's right. You're proving me wrong every time. You sits all right, but when you hang it, that wheel goes a bit funky. Yeah, it sits okay. The most common one of this casting is the yellow one in the main line. Nice deep, dark interior. A few Mustangs today. I'm sure there's room in my Mustang drawer. There must have been for me to buy all those Mustangs. Audi Quattro, another one where I had a seat warmer. The paint job was all messed up. Let's see if this is mint. If it truly hasn't been out of the box. Seems that way. Just the usual imperfections. Amber glass and glossy black painted base. That aircon blowing down onto this desk is icy cold. It's um, pretty much smack bang in the middle of autumn here, mid-March. Actually it's late March. Um, as we gaze on down upon this GT40. Um, but in Perth, not all of Australia, but certainly Perth, um, it still gets really hot in March. It should be getting into the cooler stuff. Cold nights, but um, it's going up to the mid 30s next week, which is hot. Check it out what that is in Fahrenheit, maybe 90 odd. Don't know. Another Mustang. What is this? Um, GT Concept. And those out there, red lights. On some colours that looks good, not so much on this one. Sounded a bit like Borat then, didn't I? This one, not so much. It's when he got thrown out of a house for insulting somebody's wife. Mercedes-Benz CLS 500. That looks a bit caved in, so we'll just put it there. Again, this was a full, somebody's full collection that they sold off. Hey, wow. Meaty car, isn't it? The big German, they called this one. <laughs> yeah, lots of power. 
What's the speed for the autobahn? We'll plonk him in between the two Fords. Probably not right at home there, but that's fine. He might be there for long. He'll be in his, his proper draw soon enough. Got a Camaro. Hmm. Where are we? 69? Or is that an 8? Shout it at the TV, son. Black and red. Wonderful. Muscle cars everywhere. Um, another one replacing a knocked up one. Uh, knocked up. It's not pregnant. Knocked about one in my collection. It's a Land Rover 90. This felt like it's been re glued, but maybe not. Maybe that lady on the production line was a bit heavy handed on the glue. There were no machines doing it back in those days. Although maybe, I don't know, I wasn't there. Few imperfections. It's funny, you go from something like, oh, I don't know, pick one, Tyrone. Anyone, mate, they're waiting. Uh, 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 mm. Alright, this one here. I was going to pick something more exciting, but this one here. No imperfections at all, and you get kind of used to it, don't you? Certainly the stuff coming out these days, 2024, etc. Everything's just perfect. And then you go back to this part of your collection, and you've got to put up with the, the imperfections. And your eye goes straight to it. You've got to readjust. Great to have this imperfections and all it, um, it will replace a very badly knocked around on 68 Mustang Cobra Jet it's like a Mustang fest yeah what have they done here I'm gonna try and give you a good look at the interior because they do a stonkingly great job on the interior Four two eight on the license plate. Awesome. Great. Mm, no, I was going to put them next to the other Mustang, but there's Mustangs everywhere. We'll find a friend. And another ambulance. Cadillac ambulance, the 63. Emergency response. Um, 2011 release. It's the second. Um, County Ambulance today, Miller County. Wonderful, wonderful. These are all going out of shot, but I will do a, a big old pan around soon. Volkswagen T2 bus in green, Sportsman's Lodge, um, 2010 copyright. It's a whole bunch of these castings isn't there with the roof piece and without and all the rest of it and then uh, modern ones got a bit smaller but I like that one very much that's cool um, Mercedes-Benz CLK gee they're making a fibber out of me and the card art is matching I'm getting quite uncomfortable with what I said before with you never know what colour the car is even if you look at the, um, the picture on the box. Never mind. Forget half of what I say. I normally do. That's a beauty. Great interior. Great paint job. Nice choice of colour. And the red tail lights, as naff as they are, um, actually blend in. Sweet. There's a white one, I think, going around. Going around. Um, out there. That, um, those tail lights look a bit dicky on. Porsche, uh, not Porsche, Peugeot 205 Turbo 16. Now the variant on this is, drum roll please, as I try and remember, um, my one has the black 205. This one is red, with plenty of rub, but it has a huge opening part. I think it opens further than that, but I won't force it. Gray interior. Hmm. 
never knew it came out in red and black until I knew and now I do and now I've told you and now you know a bunch more um, Japan release this is the second Japan release showing you today the first one is the rather expensive Bora what is it? Uh, Maserati Bora now this one is a vet I'm not sure if it came out in this livery in your neck of the woods but it did in Japan Firestone equipped hmm. bow tie on the doors and that familiar racing double stripe cool cool man yeah boxes are always a keeper but you can go on the rug for now um, very Australian Thrifty Link Hardware I don't know if they exist anymore because um, Bunnings stood on them Bunnings is our major hardware chain they went to New Zealand and they tried to set up in the UK they failed in the UK I think um, West Farmers own them a very very big company here but um, I'm pretty sure they crushed Thrifty Link and just before they did Thrifty Link issued us this. <laughs> this is the dying gasp left their lungs. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but honestly, that's the way everything goes, isn't it? You want to buy a burger these days? Go to McDonald's. No one else exists. Actually, that's not true. We go to a bunch of very gourmet burger places in my own little village here. They're great. They do have, we do have McDonald's, but we steer clear of them. We're snobs. Alfa Romeo Julia Sprint GTA in red. Now, oh, that fell away. I've got uh, two white ones of this. Uh, one's chrome interior, one is black interior. I dare say there is a black interior red one out there as well. And now I must find it. <laughs> That's a lovely one. Oh, look at the stuff on the back. Beautiful. Really nice. Ah, uh, you having fun? I'm having fun. A um, couple more and then the promised custom. you got to see this custom. Rootmaster in blue. It was 34 of... You can read that, can't you? I think it's 2007, so 2008. That card was ready to let go anyway. Matchbox Toys. That's a real classic look, that sign, isn't it? I think I've got a metal sign with that on it somewhere. It's going to say in my man shed, but I don't have a man shed, I just have a YouTube studio. <laughs> Brilliant, that will go with the other two, the red one and the brown one. And I've got another red one, but different label, decal. The British invasion continues. Mm, I think it went the other way these days. Yeah. Yeah, the British invasion, the original one by popular culture was the Beatles going to America, wasn't it? Now it's something completely different. And we'll swipe him in there. Never mind the, the rivet dust everywhere. Actually, I will do a bit of a wipe down because we've got a special guest. And the very last one to show you on this massive matchbox haul, just before a big pan around, is this one. Don't freak out you're not going to find this one down at your local supermarket stolen I didn't steal it it was given to me this beauty look at that it's even got is that a Victorian the state of Victoria plate I think it is um, I'll get to that in a second uh, David Johns from Toy Diecast sends me some very nice things and this is one of them look at the detail you can see through that windshield to the right hand drive as it absolutely should be with the red accents on that black red and black everywhere that's great I had a gawk at this through the magnifying glass and my thuggish fingers just wouldn't be able to do anything like this so why bother trying I used to do kit set models when I was a much younger fella but these days, no, no, leave it to the experts. That's fabulous. Thank you, David. 
always sending me nice stuff. Um, where's the other show off piece today? Look at that. Look at that. Here's a little insight into Australian culture. Most of my viewers aren't from Australia. The ones who are, hello. Um, you'll agree with this, I'm sure. If there's this line up at the lights, one of these guys is going to smoke it up. You know it. You know it. These days, the penalty for doing so is the cops take your car off you. And they still do it. Boys, come on. Hang on to your ute. The first time they take it off you, it's for three months. Second time, it gets worse and worse and worse. And then, like my nephew used to say, the cops just pick on me. Yeah, mate. Yeah, they're picking on you. Let's go upstairs. I'll stop whinging. Great to see the two utes together. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of them now, but um, my collection will forever be unique now. Oops, mind your head, son. Look at that. That's in one day. That's tripping me out. I need my fifth coffee. What do you think? Was that a mega haul? Or whatever I called this video? That's pretty mega. Oh, the cop bike fell over. I told you it would. Oh, magic. There are so many gaps in the collection that just got filled today. Like the flame out, the, uh, the Dakota. Come on, man. The transporter with our ambulance written on side of the ambulance. Just, wow. So thrilled. This is going to keep me busy for the rest of the day. I need another coffee. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.